how much do you still deal with shame these days? And how, how, how are you to, uh, today compared to a year ago? Oh my God, I'm so much better than a year ago. I'm so hmm. much better than a year ago. Oh my God. I remember literally last October, you know, let me pull it up. I think it was like literally to the date um, a year ago, I had like a breakdown <laughs> um, over how broken I felt. Um, so how much shame do I deal with now? Um, it comes and it goes. I'm doing a lot better. I have a lot more capacity to um, acknowledge it for what it is and like throw it away as not useful. So that's where the, my cognitive behavioral therapy comes in. You have to be able to name it, label it, identify the root of it, and then be like, this is not serving me. This is maladaptive. I need to throw this away. Um, so I'm a lot better at like naming what's going on. And um, I have more tools and more people in my life who help talk to me about it. Um, oh, thank you for the love. Um, so having friends like you, Armin, has helped me almost more than the therapist I've been seeing for like 10 years. <laughs> Straight up. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and, um, it, it helps to yeah have people who challenge that in your life um i'm yeah so um how how bad was it i remember like sitting in my bed and <laughs> my best friend was telling me about how um she went to like a lingerie sex party basically and I was sobbing because I didn't understand why I was so broken that I could never do something like that because of how severely it would damage my sense of self. Um, I was like, why is this so such a big deal to me why can why do other people get to go do something like that and it's it doesn't affect them it doesn't make them despise themselves it doesn't make them viscerally hate themselves for not even like queer sexual desire just sexual desire period period why why do why do other people get to be so free it's not a big deal they don't they're not burdened by this they're not i mean the sense of this utter sense of burdensomeness cannot be overstated um i just felt broken and damaged beyond repair i was like it's not fair that this was done to me in a way like why and i couldn't i couldn't conceptualize how to move past it and being my age i'm like it isn't supposed to it isn't supposed to be this way um and i mean i don't even think there are like words for like the level of self-loathing um and it's interesting because that moment that i had led me to the conclusion i was like i need to do something to get a hold of this like this is not this is i can't move forward in my life like this um and so i started reading books about indoctrination actually <laughs> um because i needed to understand um how how i was influenced in this way to feel this this way about myself because that doesn't happen naturally, right? Um, and so I started reading this book called Combating Cult Mind Control 
by Stephen Hassan, who is a um, cult survivor himself and a cult expert and a licensed mental health counselor. Um, and uh, so I started originally reading it to help understand my experience with Catholicism and um, the level of shame that I internalized and almost f like n near sexual phobia. Um, and, uh, and then along the way, I discovered other influences that I had, um, undertaken. <laughs> and so, um, in a roundabout way, my, uh, sexual shame led me to, uh, realize that I was part of the far left and just had various destructive influences in my life. <laughs> wait, wait. So you, okay. So trying to discover how your Catholic upbringing influenced your sexual shame made you leave the Antifa crowd because while try trying to discover how you were being brainwashed by the Catholic church made you realize that you've also been brainwashed <laughs> by Antifa. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That wait. is interesting. Okay. Let me find it just a second because that's why I do. I want to, I won't find the book right now. Um, but the, the yeah. theme of the book is that um, if people, if the public is educated to identify destructive influences, you can identify destructive influences in a plethora of places, so many places. And um, another running theme is that um, uh, you, critical thought is let in through the back door. So I had entered this trying to look at one thing critically. And along the way, once I had learned the tools to identify destructive influence, I suddenly could not help but notice the similarities <laughs> of something else in my life. <laughs> Just like, you're like, oh. <laughs> um yeah yeah but it i think like i i can't even it really helps to have friends who were also really raised in a religious environment to talk to you about these things because like my friends who were raised without is this the real muhammad hijab in the comments i don't think so don't <laughs> somebody somebody check for us and tell <laughs> Um, uh, it's should I highlight it? Should I highlight the cover? Yes, I want to know if this is the real Muhammad Hijab. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> will the real Muhammad Hijab please stand up? <laughs> right. Um, because <All> right. <laughs> okay. he also is in actually, ooh. um, so, um, I uh, it helps to have friends who are also really raised in, um, highly controlling environments or um religious environments because a lot of my friends who are raised without religion just like couldn't relate i would try to talk to them about like what i this what i was holding within myself and they'd be like what maybe not in so many words definitely not in so many words but the way it felt reflected back to me and um probably because it was such a vulnerable spot for me. This is a, an accurate representation of what they were saying, but um, the way it felt back to me was they're like, what's wrong with you? I don't get it. Like, why is it such a big deal? Like, just do it. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, you don't understand. If I just go do it, like, I will hate myself. Um, so, um, I was basically, <laughs> I was a voluntary celibate for like years. <laughs> why? Why? How so? Why? Um, because I couldn't even um let myself go there for fear of triggering my own depth of self-loathing. So how many years are we talking? Um, uh, I guess maybe not years, but like almost full years. 